Hello and welcome to the Minutes Within the Mist, where we travel along the Ohio River to discover cryptids, ghosts, and other mysteries. Today we will talk about that hybrid of an animal, or man, known as mud mermaids. Published by the Akron Daily Democrat on 20 October of 1894 was an article about a strange human-like creature that lived on the sandbar in the Ohio River near Vevey, Indiana. They were known to be amphibious in nature and resembled huge lizards, but had strangely human-like features. Captain J.M. Ozier, who oversaw a traveling art exhibit, heard of the strange mermaids and paid their haunt several visits in the hope of being able to catch a glimpse of one. He made a pencil sketch of the male amphibian while watching it swim within 20 feet of the spot where he observed its movements. The beast was said to be 5 feet in length and about 150 pounds. The yellowish body had legs resembling the arms and legs of a human. The front legs were shorter, but used in the same manner as arms, including webbed hands and furnished with sharp claws. On the back of the body appeared a mass of straggling, coarse hair, with the skin below it thick and resembling elephant hide. The head of the beast was the most remarkable part of all. It was devoid of hair and possessed strangely human features. Its ears were sharp pointed and stood up like those of a dog. He noted that he saw no intelligence in the face of the creature. In swimming, however, it seemed to move without any effort and did not cause any commotion in the water. Only its head and a part of the slightly arched back were shown while swimming. When frightened, instead of diving like a duck or making a quick flob, this strange beast sank from view, much like a stone. So the ocean isn't the only place where you can find mermaids. I hope you enjoyed these stories about the mud mermaids. Please tell your friends who would enjoy stories about cryptids, ghosts, and other mysteries about our channel. But until then, watch out for the river and remain constantly curious.